Welcome to part one of this series on how to create a simple idea script. Uh, in this part, what we'll do is we're going to use idea to create a simple extraction and we're going to copy it over into the idea script and then we'll talk about the different variables that we probably want to change. In this project, what we want to do is create a script that will ultimately be able to to use any file that has at least one numeric field and extract all numbers over X amount or under X amount. So what I would usually do is I try to first off build it in IDEA. There's many different ways of creating IDEA scripts. The easiest is usually just using the history. First creating an IDEA and then using the history to extract it into the IDEA script. So I'm just going to find an example. I'm going to use the sample files that come with the IDEA install. I'll use the sample bank transactions. I'm going to do an extraction of all items greater than 10. So in this instance, the amount field is a numeric field, and I'm just going to say greater than equal, or I can just use the greater than equal instead, and 10. So all the, what I'm doing here is just creating sort of a scenario, a template that I'm going to go in and change later on. So then I say validate and exit. I'll just say amounts greater than 10, and I click on OK. So I've created the extract. If I now go into the history and look, there's now a segment for record extraction. I open that up, and at the very bottom here, we have the idea script code of exactly what we just performed. So what I'll do is I'll right click on this. We have three choices. I just want to create this, copy this section. I don't want to copy all of it. So I'm just going to say copy the idea script for the selected task. And voila, it opens up the idea script editor with the script to reperform the task. Now, rule of thumb is things, items in red are probably things that you can change, easily change within the code. So here we've got in red, we've got the sample a database name. That's the database that we opened up, we used. We then have the new database name that we created and then the extraction equation. So what I'm going to do in the subsequent uh, videos is to one, show you how to change the file name so we can use any idea file, how to change the dbase name so that ultimately we can rename it whatever we want, and then to select the different numeric fields so we're not always limited to a field named amount, also, how to enter in an amount, so we're not limited to 10. We can use 100, 50, minus 10, whatever we want. And also, as a little option, we're going to give the user an option to either say greater than or less than. So in the next video, I'm going to walk you through how to create the simple dialogue that will then build the rest of the script upon.